Hello everyone and welcome to a, a new a series of videos uh, I'll be calling integrations. The idea behind this is to show you how easy it is to integrate Velo Cloud with uh, third parties. I'm thinking about AWS, Azure, um, Z Scaler, Checkpoint and uh, give you that basic understanding on how you can put the pieces together. Now I'll be keeping them uh, separate from my other videos in the Zero to Hero playlist. Uh, do check that in case uh, you need to get a bit more in-depth uh, with the VeloCloud components themselves. But regarding VeloCloud and third parties, I will be keeping them separate in the playlist. So in today's session, uh, I'm going to be connecting my VeloCloud Edge at home uh, to CloudGuard Connect. Um, now this is a cloud service that's uh, brought by Checkpoint and it allows you to do access control and threat prevention, including uh, SSL decrypt, uh, but as opposed to doing that locally with a VNF or with a uh, you know standalone firewall, uh, you just tunnel the traffic through our gateways to their endpoints. And once that happens, they will do all the filtering before traffic the traffic leaves the internet. So the first thing that we will do after obviously logging into their portal and logging into the orchestrator is to add a new site. So we'll give it a name. We will give it a location. It's very important because based on this, we will be given a few IP addresses to connect to. So a really bad decision to back all the traffic somewhere else around the world. And here we will estimate the users. As far as their dashboard says, uh, this allows them to kind of understand the traffic volumes that might be coming from that connection. Now we click next. We can choose different manufacturers here. For example, like Cisco or Aruba, choose VeloCloud. We choose an IPsec tunnel, and then we have a static IP address. So this is the IP address of the VeloCloud gateway that allows us to connect with CloudGuard via IPsec. Now, at the moment, I don't know the gateway IP address, so I'll just put a random one. What will happen is that once I start configuring things on the VeloCloud side, I will see the template. The template will list the gateway IP addresses and I will come back to this and edit it. We then uh, copy the shared secret. So this is the secret that will allow the tunnel to be established. And then we uh, list the networks of my home office. So in order to do that, I'll hop into my orchestrator. And the easiest way to just click configure and go to the device itself. Now, about uh, 15 minutes have passed. Um, as you can imagine, this process is not instantaneous as uh, there are a few things being provisioned on the checkpoint side. Uh, but the nice touch is that uh, I automatically got an email telling me that uh, the site is ready to go uh, and I didn't have to configure any alerts. So a uh, really nice touch from checkpoint there. So now that I have my site up, I will go inside the VeloCloud Orchestrator and define a new network service. I'm using the non-VeloCloud site option here in order to use the third-party gateway. I'll give it a name. The type is a generic IKB1 router. I will have to go back to my infinity portal, view the instructions. So 
these are my primary and my secondary gateways I am connecting to. And I click next. Now, what I also need to do is I need to increase my encryption. I need to disable forward secrecy. I leave DV Hellman as two. And then I have to copy paste the shared secret. So for that, I have to click edit site and click connection details. Now I go back and I apply it in both these fields. Now I will be disabling site subnets. Um, we um, obviously use this page uh, also to connect to any third party sites and you know they might be advertising subnets, uh, but this doesn't really happen, right? Uh, Checkpoint will give us a default route and that's pretty much it. So I will disable site subnets. Now, one last thing you have to do is um, to enable tunnels. Now, this is very easily missed, um, and you might be wondering why nothing comes up, uh, but just make sure you click Enable Tunnels here. Now, before we uh, leave this page, uh, I wanted to show you that uh, you can use this template, which you first have to save changes, uh, to understand the gateway that you are connected to. If you remember, we put one, two, three, four there, a kind of random IP address uh, in order to create the initial configuration on the checkpoint side. Now we can take the IP address of the SD1 gateway, go back into the connection details and substitute that. So now we have both sides of the puzzle. Now we didn't know this at first because if you remember the uh, gateways video we have done, uh, this automatically generates after you plug in the third party IP address, right? So this is the gateway from my gateway pool that is closest to that object. I have to click save here, I have to apply the changes here. And once that happens, there are only two things left to do. First of all, we go inside the profile, and we turn on third-party VPN. So we just enable branch to the cloud site. We now have the option of checkpoint cloud. So that enables that service here. And obviously just being connected to checkpoint is not, uh, not enough. Uh, so we will have to create a business policy. So we will say, Internet checkpoint. We say everything that goes to uh, the internet, it will get backhauled to my checkpoint cloud. Click OK on that. That goes to the top. Let's make sure we we've moved it more towards the bottom to give these policies preference. And once that happens, I click Save Changes. Now, a few minutes later, I'll be receiving another email saying that CloudGuard Connect uh, starts seeing the packets. So uh, they give me the thumbs up from their side. What I can also do is obviously go back to the orchestrator, click Monitor Network Services, and you'll see here the two tunnels are up. I'll be checking back later, um, however, uh, one of the things that I can do is now uh, set up policies regarding the access control and threat prevention and start getting some logs from the devices.